Shalom. This uh, is the is the end part two of two of the truth is in the scripts. Um, shorter version of the word scriptures. Let's continue this lesson. Um, I want to give all praise on the glory to Yahweh Shemim John sixteen thirteen. How be it when he the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Verse 14, he shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore said I that he shall take of mine and shall show it unto you. Okay. Now I chose those particular scriptures because Joshua 1, 8, 9 tells us to meditate on his word day and night. And as we continue to meditate on his word day and night, the Holy Spirit will come to us. The Bible says, Salaki, let's start again. You shall receive power once the Holy Spirit has come up on you. Okay? All right? Now I have another precept that just came to me. It just evaded me. Let's see if I can pull it up. Yes, beautiful. John 14, 26. This is why, this is one of the reasons as to why the world doesn't understand this Bible. Why? Because it's not meant for them to get it. Okay? <clears throat> Right? The steps of a good man are ordered by our power. Joshua chapter 37 verse 23. Proverbs 16 and 9. A man's heart, his heart is his mind. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. See? See, so wherever a man's heart is, that's where his treasures shall be also. Okay, now let's get this, Josh, uh, uh, Saki, John 14, 26. I only had about maybe three more precepts to cover. Um, there were a lot of videos that were recorded in my recording software. I mean, a lot. From like two weeks ago. And um, it that's the reason for the abrupt ending in the last video, which was part one of two. Okay, John 14, 26. Watch this. But the Comforter, which is also the Spirit of Truth. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Now, if you don't read, or you don't like to read, the Lord can't bring back to you what you ain't read. Let's get this in the NLT as well. If it is allowable, because NLT has been moving around in this software pretty good here lately, I've noticed. But when the Father sends the Advocate as my representative, that is, the Holy Spirit, He will teach you everything and will remind you of everything I have told you. Spirit of Truth does all of that. Okay, which is the what? The Spirit. Okay, now, let's uh, grab a few more scriptures and we're going to be out. Now, watch this now. Psalm 147, 19. I'm going to hook a few more scriptures up together. And then you're going to understand why everybody can't understand this Bible. You're gonna, it's going to be clear to you then. John, uh, it's lucky. Psalm 147.19, New Living Translation, He has revealed His words to Jacob, His decrees and regulations to Israel. He has not done this for any other nation. They do not know His regulations. Praise the Lord Powell. He's done what? How many nations there are on the earth, on the planet? How many? Quite a few, isn't it? 
He has only revealed this to Jacob. That's why in the beginning of the last video, part one of two, that uh, leprous man was on that stage, right? He couldn't understand this. Why? Is he Jacob? Remember now, Jacob's name was changed to Israel when, when, when Jacob wrestled the angel at Peniel, right? In the book of Genesis, right? Okay. And remember now, remember now, remember and do realize that the children of Israel were into slavery. Did that leprous man ever go into slavery? Hell no. Can he understand it? Hell no. The Lord already says, My Holy Spirit will not dwell in temples made with man's hands. Wait a minute. Wasn't he on a stage made with a damn man's hand? Hold on. Didn't the construction company build that damn building? Well, the temple has been defiled. Come on, man. See? That's why you have to read and study this word because all these scriptures are going to help you to understand things. He says, my temple is not made with man's hands. What's the temple of the Holy Spirit? Your body. Is your body made with man's hands? Hell no. Psalm 24, 1, 1 Corinthians 10, 26. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. That's his temple as well. Did a man make this earth? Hell no. Proverbs 34 told us that in the beginning. Who has ascended or descended? Who has ascended into the heavens or descended, question mark? Who has gathered the winds in his fists? Who has bound the waters in a garment? Who has established the ends of the earth? Was it a damn man that did that? No. Let's continue. Um, back. Let's get Amos 3 and 2. We're done. Lord willing. So you see what I'm saying? That's why that's why they can't understand this word because it's not meant for them. In fact, I got one more precept I want to get as well. We'll keep this in the NLT for now. He has revealed his words to Jacob. What about his Sashua? Nope. They can't get it. It's because it's not meant for them to understand. Lord has come back for his people and his people only. Damn these other people. Ha! Ha ha! Amos 3 and 1. New Living Translation. Listen to the message that the Lord Power has spoken against you, O people of Israel, which is Jacob and Judah. Wait a minute, I don't get that. What do you mean? This is the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Remember, it was rent in pieces. Under Solomon, remember? So all this ties back in. Oh no, we ain't in the Old Testament no more. Ha ha, we ain't in the New Testament. It's funny. Because the Old Testament keeps running back through the New Testament. It keeps running back through the Old Testament. Why? Because that's one night what has been spirit again if there's nothing new on the sun. What are you, what the hell are you talking about? No such thing as a damn Old Testament. It's Testament. These are the Testaments of the prophets. This is their words. Testament. Come from Testament. Testament comes from testes, testicles. Only a man got, got testicles. Hello. And if you think I'm lying, look the damn word up. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. You got Google? Look it up. If you want to find out how to do the pop and lock, yes, it'll be on YouTube. Popping and locking. Let me see. Back the video up. Let me see. Oh, he go like this. You you look that up. You want to find a twerk video? How to, how to bounce? You look that up, but you won't look this up. Guess what? All the shit that you be looking up, guess what? All this stuff is going down in fire. Bun. Mm -hmm. You know, you ever cook some meat and you and you, you bun it up? Then you just call it Cajun? <laughs> shit. I don't, if it's Cajun season and it tastes like fire or something, bun up, I ain't eat it. Have my stomach set on backwards. Okay, now let's, let me keep on Watch this. Let's start again. Amos 3, 1. Listen to the message that the Lord has spoken against you, O people of Israel. People of Israel, the northern kingdom. They were brought here by a slave ship between 600 and 800 A.D. Yes, the northern kingdom. It consists of who? The so-called Mexicans of the tribe of Issachar. And this is in Genesis 49, Genesis chapter 49. But if you're not in the spirit, you're not going to understand it. You have to be in the spirit to understand this. And you have to have been given it 
to you by Yahweh Shem Mashiach and Holy Spirit. Otherwise, it ain't gonna mean nothing to you. You can't you can't interpret the scripture, you can't break it down. Well, I don't know. Obviously you're not of the elect, because the elect can break it down and understand it. In due time when it when it's time for them to understand that. Okay, they will be able to understand it and break it down. But the northern kingdom is the so called Dominicans or Simeons. Panamanians to Guatemalans, the tribe of Zebulun. Puerto Rico, so called, tribe of Ephraim. Tribe of Manasseh, the Cubans. Native American Indians, tribe of Gad. Seminole Indians, tribe of Reuben. Argentina to Chile is the tribe of Natali. Colombia to Uruguay is the tribe of Asher. And the so called Mexican the tribe of Israel. Guess what? All them people right there that I just named all, guess what? They went into slavery and they came over here on slave trips. They are the children of Israel, according to scripture. Now, you work with it. Work with it. Let <laughs> me love it. Okay, now, listen to the message that the Lord power has spoken against you, O people of Israel and Judah. Judah consists of three tribes Judah, Levi, and Benjamin. Judah are the so called Negroes here in America, Babylon the Great. Levi are the so-called Haitians, and Benjamin are the so-called West Indian and Jamaican from the Caribbean islands. We are the children of Israel. We came over here on these slave ships. Them people over there now in, in our land, them damn people ain't never been on no damn slave ship. Huh? Come on now. You believe in the scripture, you believe in the Lord, but then you should agree with what the Lord said in his word. In fact, the Lord says when the children of Israel back in their own land again, Jeremiah 30 and 10, no one will bother them. No one will make them afraid. That's funny. God damn it. We still getting shot down the damn streets. So they, they, they can't be the damn children of Israel. Oh, the Lord also says we should study war no more. Since them people went over there in 1900, 1940, how many goddamn wars we done had? Now somebody is lying. I don't give a damn. You figure it out. There you go. I love it. <laughs> Let's keep on. I listened to a message that the Lord power has spoken against you, O people of Israel and Judah, against the entire family I rescued from Egypt. Yeah? Aren't we in Egypt now, Revelation 11 and 8? Go read it. Exodus 22, bondage. Egypt means bondage. Go read it. From among all the families on the earth, I have been intimate with you alone. That is why I must punish you for all your sins. How is that possible? Isn't he, isn't he married unto us? Jeremiah three fourteen. Go read it. Read it. Read it. Witnesses against guilty Israel. Read it. Let's close out with um. Let's close out with um. Let's get this Genesis twenty one and twelve. Nope. Yeah, uh, seventeen twenty one. We're going to keep it in the New Living Translation. Okay. And it reads, whenever it comes up. Oh, boy. See, see that? The scriptures, the, the truth is in the scriptures. Genesis seventeen twenty one, But my covenant will be confirmed with Isaac. Who will be born to you and Sarah about this time next year? So, so Isaac is the offspring of who? Abraham at the time, Abram, and Sarah, right? Let's keep on. When God had finished speaking, he left Abraham, which means father of many nations. Okay, now, let's go here. Let's go to Genesis 21 and 12 as well. I just want to cover these precepts. No particular reason I chose them to put on the tail end of things, but um, um, come on. Now we know that out of Isaac comes two boys, two twins, right? Comes who? Lep the leprous one, one with no pigment in his skin. In other words, look like raw chicken skin. You know, you get ready to wash the chicken, get ready to cut and, and season up. Oh, saying hello. Is it clear to you? <laughs> okay, now. And he was chosen to be, Genesis 27, 38 through 41, this is his time of rulership now. 
So if the seed is called out of Isaac, there's only one other twin, that's Jacob. Let's keep on now. Genesis 21 and 12. But God told Abraham, do not be upset over the boy and your servant. Do whatever Sarah tells you, for Isaac is the son through whom your descendants will be counted. But I will also make a nation of the descendants of Hagar's son, because he is your son too. So we see that the seed comes out of who? Isaac. Isaac on the head, two boys. One of them is ruling the planet right now. That's the seed of the serpent. That's the left-hand side. That's the wicked side. That's the one who's guilty of Isaiah 10 and 1. That's Revelation 12 and 9. The devil deceived the whole world. That's who them damn people live right now. So ain't but one other person that it could be. If the seed coming out of Isaac, who is that? Jacob. Yaquab. Come on, man. Which means to supplant. Okay? So, uh, I just wanted to put that back in as part two. Um, I have rec I am recording it now. Um, I'm going to wait a little bit to upload it because if not, part two will hit my channel before part one. And I don't really want that to happen that way. So, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Mishai, Bashem, and Kakudash. Yahweh is the name of my father I created in ancient Hebrew. That name, Yahweh, is Hebrew. Okay. God is Greek. The name God means theos, which you get when you get to study the science, uh, theology, which contradicts the Bible at every damn turn. Okay. And yes, I'm going to say that because Christianity contradicts the Bible. Christianity have your ass in a goddamn building. The Lord says, my Holy Spirit which shall not dwell in temples made with man's hands. So what Holy Spirit fall in what church house? Tell me that. Answer. I'm listening. I'll wait. In fact, let's get that scripture as well. Let's go back to any uh, KJV. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9, I believe. Uh, if not, we will find it. Oh, yeah. I don't want you to take my word for it. I want you to read it from the scripture yourself. Let's get it. Hold on. Nope, that's not where we need to be. Go down to 19 verse. There it is. Look at it. What? First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. What? Know ye not that your body, your body, Know your legs and your feet and your arms and your neck. Yeah, that's your body. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit which is in you. Oh, which ye have not. Mr. Lockett, Which ye have of God and ye are not your own. Damn. For ye are brought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God's. It belongs to the Most High. He made, watch this, huh? The Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Shah made everything on earth to do what he has commanded it to do. So if your body, if you're not honoring him in your body, then you're doing something other than what he commanded you to do. Guess what? Your ass could get disappeared off the planet fast. Why? Because it is, it is an abomination. I created this bottle to hold this liquor and, and, and or whatever, or this water, or this drink. And, and it leaking out the damn bottom of the thing. It crack at the bottom. What well, I'm going to do, throw it in the trash. This ain't hard now. Had not the pot of power over the clay. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. I put a tub, a, a new shower in my, in my, in a new shower shell in my bathroom. And it crack and letting the damn water out. Okay, guess what I'm going to do? De-exit. We call it the military. De-exit. I'm going to get that. Get rid I'm going to throw that one in the trash. Or take it back to the store and say, hey, it's crack. I need my money back. I need nothing. Ain't that what I'm saying? Ain't that, ain't, ain't that what you gonna do? This ain't hard. You can only make it hard. You, you can make this hard, but not hard. Okay, now. So, um, look at that. Let's get this in the, uh, hold on. And I'll see when we close out. It's not hard. It's not hard. And one thing you'll find when you begin to read, the Bible is, on so, the Bible is so on point, on thing. If you just read, especially the book of Sirach, that book will blow you away. It'll save a lot of people a lot of trouble, too. You know, a lot of stuff that people are going through right now, relationships, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All things are lawful, but not all things are expedient. We're going to Jacob's trouble here soon, very soon. 
if you're still stuck on stupid the Christian prosperity and all that, you will be cut off God and you will be tired in the mist. I ain't trying to be you. I ain't even trying to be around you. Hell to the now. <laughs> all right. Um, let's get it in the um the New International Version. Do you not know, Slocky, do you not know that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit? Who is in you, whom you have received from God? Yeah, not your own. Just don't, just don't, don't get no easier. See? Even the children of Israel were led out by Moses. After all they have seen how the Shem Shah do in Egypt. Okay, and Moses led us out of, of Egypt, right? <laughs> With the you know with the assistance of Aaron, right? What did he say? He said he said Moses, tell the children of Israel to come close to the mountain, that I might come down and have a talk with them. But tell them don't touch the mountain, for if they touch the mountain, I will see their sins and they will die. Because he says the mountain, you know, that mountain, in according to the Holy Spirit, in the Spirit means what government. So Yahweh by Shem and Bashai, has consumed the mountain as the ruling government, the lawgiver, okay, Romans 9 and 4, of the wilderness, of where we're at, the children of Israel. We're in, you know, we're in the wilderness. The wilderness is a desolate, desolate place, it's a perpetual desolation. Where we at now, in the damn wilderness? Been here for a minute. It's coming to an end, but we're still here. Okay, let's get one more, one more spot. Um... So, you know, when people always, you know, when, when you watch the Christians go to church and say, Oh, baby, yes, sir. The Spirit is definitely in here. Can't y'all feel the Spirit? What Spirit you feel? That's not the Holy Spirit. They think it is, but that's not. That's not. I, what what Spirit? Yeah, I, ooh, I feel the Spirit in this place. I, where we right now, if you feel the Spirit in this place, then somebody's lying. Somebody is not telling the truth here. You know that Yahweh Shem is the way, the truth, and the life. Pursuant to John 14 and 6. So what spurt do you do you feel? Oh, I sure feel the spurt in here coming on. You don't feel no damn spurt. Not, not, hello? He says, my temple is not made with man's hands. In fact, let's get the scripture and we'll close out. <laughs> Shit. Mm -hmm. See, this is what I be talking about. And people swerving down, they be right near me on point, and they know what the hell they talking about. But when you give them the scripture, shit, they gonna disappear quick, you know. And you, that's Proverbs twenty eight and four. The wicked fleeth when no one pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Bring up the scripture. Bring it up and read out of the Bible. You, 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 him. You know. <laughs> I'm driving right now. I ain't got time for that right now. We, we, I can't find my glasses. I, 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 I hear it all the time. See, I, I know I read how this really goes. Let's find the scripture and then we'll close off. I really didn't want to make this long. Come on, we'll give me take that to Google. Um, Up as well. Come on. Acts 748. Ooh, I knew that too. Alright, let's get there. Acts 748. And guess what? This come out of the what? The New Testament. Oh no, we ain't in the Old Testament. We in the New Testament. That's funny. How come you're not familiar with the scripture? Acts 748, how be it that the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet, heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool, what house will ye build me? <laughs> Hold on, hold on, wait a minute, heaven is my throne, I'm sitting on the throne, my foot on the footstool, my foot is on the earth with the footstool, what kind of damn house you could build me? <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Hold on now. Heaven is my throne, earth is my footstool. What house will you build me, saith the Lord? 
Or what is this place of my rest? Has not my hand made all these things? So you're going to take something the Lord made and rededicate it back to him. And it's made with, 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 with hands belonging to a people with a filthy heart. Where did they do that at? <laughs> okay, let's continue on. Let's go. Sometimes the scriptures have a way of cracking me up a little bit. Because it shows you what, and it cracks me up. It's, it's funny to me. It's hysterical to me because it's what we thought was correct against what is truly correct. And I'm here to tell you right now, thank you for the word, the washing of it. By the word, the word of Ephesians 5, 25, 26. Then we still have been stuck on stupid in second gear, looking for answers, calling on the Lord, calling on the name of a pagan God that can't do shit. Let's keep on. Let's also get in Acts 17, 24, and we finish. This is why it's so important to read. Even if you don't know where to start, just pray about it and let the Lord lead you. He's going to lead you directly where you're going to read, where you're going to read it. He's not going to put the thought in your head for you to read in Colossians and use some of your head in Ephesians. It's not going to happen like that. Acts 17, 24, God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, Dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Neither is worshipped with men's hands. As though he needed anything. Seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things. And has made of one. Flocking. And has made of one blood all nations of men. For to dwell on the, all the face of the earth. And hath determined the times before appointed. And the bounds of their habitation. That they should seek the Lord, if haply they might feel after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. For in him we live, John 6.63, Baruch, Baruch 4 and 1. For in him we live and move and have our being as certain also of our own poets have said, for, all, for we are also his offspring. I hope this lesson has been edification to your soul. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Remember, Israel, take it one day at a time. Anything that you have to do, anything that you are inquiring of the Lord, anything you don't know what to do, anything you don't know how the Lord feels about it, take it to him. Take it, take it to him. You take it to him. Take it to him and talk to him like I'm talking to you right now. Take it to him. And if you trust in him and you have faith in that he's going to answer, you're going to wake up one day and the answer's going to be in your head. And you're going to wonder how did he get there. Read Job chapter 33 on the 14th verse. You'll see how he got there. Call the Lord to the elders and prosperity. Most sons will do well. Peace and sight is hope for the powerful Israel, Tabernacle David. Shalom.